Away from the cave brand. Away from the cave brand. Away from the cave brand. Okay. Break. 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 Restart the car. Jeez, <laughs> 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 that you tried. You stole. You tried to restart the car by changing the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Leave me alone. <laughs> I can already imagine the title now. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Hey guys, welcome to another driving lesson video. And yes, another driving lesson today with Brandon. We're filming every single one of his driving lessons. We're sticking to one hour driving lessons. So it's watchable because we're not editing any footage out. So Brand, last lesson. What did we cover? Crossroads. How did that go? Pretty well, to be honest. I thought it was good. Yeah, um, as well as your crossroads in general. It was the first lesson, I think, um, we both agreed that where everything was, you were scanning the hang of it, everything was just coming together, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it felt, you said it felt a lot more like natural, like with the gear changing and stuff. Yeah. So um, today's your 12th hour, isn't it? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. It's a uh, 12th um, lesson. So, uh, yeah, at the end of last lesson, what did we agree that we were going to move on to today? Dual carriageways. Yeah, you were saying roundabouts, but I was like, before we move on to the roundabouts, because we will be doing the big ones, let's do dual carriageways, because those dual carriageways will be leading on to the roundabouts. Yeah. Yep. So, um, uh, guys, Brandon is using the Ultimate Driving Course, so he watches the video, saves us time. So, Brandon, you've watched the video on the Ultimate Driving Course. Yeah. Yeah, the section. There's... Um, Three sections. Yeah, I am on dual carriages, yeah. So there's one on overtaking, which don't worry about mm -hmm. today, yeah, because it's one you to get used to the dual carriages. So what have you learned about dual carriages? What's the, what's the difference between these normal roads and dual carriages? Well, dual carriages are usually kind of two lanes, so two lanes forward, two lanes opposite. And it's uh, divided by like a barrier. And then in the video, there's like either like a grassy kind of barrier or like a hard barrier. So just a barrier. Yeah, good. And speed wise? goes up to about 70 miles per hour i think yeah dual carriages can go up to 70 miles an hour when they're built when they're outside um, built up areas yep. yeah the ones that we're going to cover today um be 40 miles an hour to start 40 miles an hour to start off with because the highest you've gone is 30 yeah mm -hmm. okay so um we haven't used much of fourth gear before have we no not much yeah so put the clutch pedal down for me pop into third gear and fourth gear is where Perfect. Pop you back into neutral. Okay, so we'll be using more of fourth gear today as well, yeah. So, you know when you're driving faster, what's the extra risk involved? Um, a higher collision rate because everyone else is going as fast. If I'm going into the right lane, to, you know, turn right later on, I need to be extra careful and check my mirrors, uh, mainly using this for a better grasp of, like, position and uh, length between cars, just in case I'm turning have engaged the, the length and I get hit or collide with another car. Cool, yeah, that's where the lane changes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously, when you're driving faster, you've got to react. Quicker. Quicker as well, slow down sooner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, again, because you haven't done it before, I will be helping you out with that anyway, yeah. Lane change that you just talked about. So, if we're in the left-hand lane, yeah. how, import, how important is it to stay in that lane? Very. I don't yeah. want to be swerving or slightly peeking over the right side in the middle just in case someone is trying to overtake and I've slightly edged out and then they'll collide. I see. Okay. Good. Um, what else about dual carriageways? Uh, joining the dual carriageways? So uh, there are different ways to join them. Yeah. yeah. Using slip roads, which we won't be doing today. We'll be joining the dual carriageway from a normal side road, yeah? Mm -hmm. So what's the difference, like, you know, when you're joining a dual carriageway to joining a normal road? Uh, you have to be you have to judge the time and the length very very carefully if, you, if I'm coming out of like a side road onto a dual carriageway because they're already going at such a quick speed my usual like emerging speed would have to be m not much quicker but I'd have to judge the distance that those cars are at because they're speeding generally yeah, they'll be driving and the, if I'm crossing across to go onto the other side those ones will look, li look a little bit you know, worrying because I'm going ac across like two, three roads. Yeah, so you're on about when we're turning right here. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll have to go across both sides. But then there's normally that area in the middle, middle section, yeah, yeah, that you can kind of rest. Yeah, uh, 218, yeah. Mm. So, um, yeah, good. Uh, like I said, these questions are just there just to check your knowledge that you have watched the videos, which you have, and you can always go back to the videos as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right then, so um, health wise, obviously in the dual carriageways, 
when we first enter the door, KJ, I'll talk you through stuff, yeah, yeah. and help you out with it. And then as you get more comfortable, I'll give you more responsibility. Yeah. yeah. Apart from the door, KJs, anywhere else where you're going, you're going to need my help. Not that I know of. Not that I know of. Again, usually, like I usually say. If I'm like messing up on like little things, just jump in and like cool. help out. Hopefully things are as smooth as like last week, but hope so. You know. Yeah. Okay, but like you said, so you're gonna take the responsibility for that, yeah? yeah. And if you need me to come in, I'll come in, yeah? yeah. Okay. If you're, if I see you doing something wrong, yeah. Okay. And if I do need to use the controls or come in by holding the steering or whatever, I'll let you know why. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, yeah. Okay. Any questions before we start? No. Cool. Weather-wise, it's cleared up, it's raining Yeah, it's quite raining quite earlier. bad early. You know how to use the wipers? Oh. That's it, good. And if it does start raining, especially if you're driving on dual carriageways, we're going to make sure we're braking a lot earlier. Okay, otherwise if you brake quite hard in rain, what could happen? Slip, skid. Yeah. I don't want to be doing that at high speed. Nah, we'll do that later on in, uh, after a few more lessons. What, slip and skid? Yeah. <laughs> Look forward to it. <laughs> okay, right, so... um. Whenever you're ready, Brent, if you could uh, move off for me, please. Do we need to run? I was just about to say the exact same thing. What gear do I need to be in? Now we start, yeah? I mean, I'm already down. Final check. That's it. You did do it earlier, but what could have happened in that distance, in that time? Time could have, uh, car could have came. That's it. What a great start to the lesson, eh? So there was nothing... Obviously, it's going to cause massive danger, yeah? But yeah. make sure you do those observations, again, especially that blind spot just before moving off. At the end of the road, if you could turn left, please. Well done, Ron. Nice, smooth approach and good observations. Learn from the best. <laughs> oh, I can say that once you pass your driving test, yeah. <laughs> okay, and how much you got from the park vehicles? A metre. That's yeah. Hopefully, I get my positioning right today. Can somebody step out from in front of this van? Yeah. Always be thinking of these risks, yeah. If you are, you'll always keep a safe distance. The thing is, when it comes to park cars, a lot of people think there's no, no risk involved, but there is. At the traffic lights, if you could turn left. Well done, good mirrors. Away from the curb, away. So I got very close to the curb there, yeah? So what could have happened if you touched the curb there? Crashed into it. Yeah, and what's the risk of that? Jumped up. Jumped up? Okay. <laughs> right. Don't right. focus on moving off here. And I need to kind of cut that out as well. Cut what out? The little rollback. Yeah. You notice the rollback. Was there anybody directly behind us at that point? No, but he was coming. Yeah. And we talked about the risk of this before, yeah. Okay, we're going to continue straight on. Yeah, there's two lanes. Keep to the left hand lane for me, please. Yep. Check your mirrors to the left. That's it. So we're going to continue straight on onto the dual carriageway. But because we've used the left hand lane here now, yeah. Which lane will we end up on the dual carriageway? On? Uh, the left side. Yeah, stop, stop, Brent, stop. Which are gear we, do we need? Are we turning left? No, we're going straight on. So, how much space are you supposed to keep from the vehicle in front? A meter. Okay, so from the vehicle in front. I need to be able to see the tyres and the, the tyres. So, this is a dual carriageway now, yeah? Let's yep. pull up our speed a bit more now, more gas. See the speed signs? You can see the barrier there in the middle. So you, you're keeping a very good position in your lane, yeah, stay in the lane. A bit more acceleration and select gear four for me, please. So if it's safe, yeah, remember the speed limit isn't a target, but if it's safe, you want to try and reach it so we're not holding up traffic. Ease off the gas a bit. As you can see, 
know where cars are coming from that lane to this lane, yeah? Yep. We do hold off a little bit. Again, lights are red ahead. So I'll check your centimeter before braking. Well done. Good. So position wise, a bit like you got a bit close earlier on as well, yeah, when I asked you to move away from the kerb. Remember the gap this time from the vehicle in front? That's better, Bran. So if they do roll back or break down, we can easily drive around it, yeah. So how much distance are you supposed to keep from the kerb? Uh, when you're driving, normal driving position. Check your side mirrors for any cyclists. Remember the dis distance? A car door lamp. How, how much distance is that from the kerb? About a metre or That's so. it, good. Got a bit more acceleration. Let's build up our speed a bit quicker, Brand. More gas, please. More gas. Let's have more gas. Put your foot down a bit more. That's it, good. Okay, ease off the gas. <laughs> ease off the gas. That's it. So when you change gear, what are you supposed to do with your foot on the gas? Uh, <laughs> move it. That's it. Well, it. Ease off it, yeah. Again, the lights are right ahead. So what are you going to do? Well done. Nice early braking there, good. Again, you keep into your lane really well, yeah? And which gear brand? Good. Well done. Let's build up our speed. Good. Let's steer slightly away from the curb. That's it there. Good gear change. You didn't keep your foot on the gas this time, yeah? I forgot how smooth it was from going like two to three, so three to four was even smoother. So if you check your centre mirror now, check your right mirror, is there any vehicle in the right hand lane? Yes. Is there any vehicle after that, that vehicle? No. Okay, I want you to signal right because I want you to get into the right hand lane. And uh, not yet, not yet. Off the gas, please. Off the gas, off the gas. Now steer to the right, please. That's it. Cover the brake, retaining right. Brake more. Get into the right lane. Brake more, please. Brake more. And select gear two. Is it safe to go? Yeah. Well done. Good. That was hard. Don't worry, that's why I uh, help you there. That's so we're, we're not on the dual carriageway now, yeah? So we don't want to be in fast mode still, what I call it. That's what happens when you come off high speed roads, you still be, not you, but people generally, they still forget that the speed limit's low now, yeah? Slow it down, Brent, slow down, slow down. Steer to the right, okay, stop. Well, you can get through, slow down a bit more though, steer more to the right, steer more, steer more. Good, back this way, well done. Not much gas, off the gas, off the gas, there's another vehicle. Keep going very slowly. Well done, go down, carry on. So you know when that vehicle stopped for us, yeah? Yeah, it didn't leave much space. But They did, but you know the vehicle behind it? They got too close. Yeah. Well, they, they can really do anything, but that vehicle in front, you know when he stopped? Yeah. Should have realised there's a vehicle in front which is narrowing the gap. Yeah, should have really continued and we would have been okay to stop there. But then if we had stopped now, we, because he had stopped, we would have blocked the road. I'm just chilling in gear too. I should have I should be in gear this is right. No, a bit more acceleration now. Now we can, because the road's clear. So, you know, beforehand, did you see how many parked vehicles there were? Yeah, yeah, quite a lot. And we were on a bend as well. So now you can speed up and select gear three. That's it. That, uh, that dual carriageway shook me a little bit. Don't worry. Especially that, that turning section then, that was, without that information I would have been done for. I don't expect you to do it by yourself anyway, remember it's the first time you're on dual carriageways. Doors open. Well then, good. Blocked, slow down to speed. Well then. Clear. If you could park up on the left please. Let's go a bit more forward, just by that lamp post please. Good parking. Let's what? unpack all of that drama. <laughs> what do you think I should to pull up just by this lamppost and not just back there? Uh, okay. One that would close, would make a narrow gap between both things. That's it. Good. Cars. But now you can't get out the car. <laughs> yeah, I can. I'm not that. I'm not that big. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. So um, 
Yes, that deal carried you. You said, oh, that was that felt hard. That the lane change, especially. So, tell me what you're thinking. Uh, one need to as a, like on this road, I can kind of build up my speed gradually or like quickly. But on that, I realise I need to build up speed a lot quicker. Um, now that I know that gear change between three and four is even smoother, like that 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 press up to speed isn't going to be that much of a big deal. Um, the turning to the right I did see loads of cars so it's then making that judgement of okay when can I slip in because you turn quite fast as well like it's quite a, a quick swerve yeah. and then being able to adjust your speed after that quite quickly especially if I'm turning right it's like I need to be able to think about all of this beforehand yeah so see I'll, that's what I'm here for now you know to like obviously I'll talk you through that mm -hmm. and we're, like I said we, we agreed it, so I'm going to talk you through, the, through that kind of stuff yeah but when you do get to the stage where you're driving by yourself, yeah. You know, changing lanes are like that. It's like on a motorway. Don't change your lanes unless you're 100% sure. sure. Yeah, if you're unsure, we're not going to do it. Yeah. Okay? Obviously, if I'm telling you to do then you're going to do it because I'm obviously guiding you here, we're here to help you out, yeah? But it's like for anybody watching when they're driving on their own. So, say if you're about in that situation where you're not sure, you can see quite a few cars, don't do it. It's best to just miss your turn, continue, and then turn back when it's safe. Rather than turning too late. Yes. Okay, but to improve that judgment, the only way it's going to happen is we practice and regular mirror checks and assessment. Yep. Yeah, and I think now when we go into the dual carriageway again, I'll try and talk a bit more about that, about how far cars are, yeah, how fast they're coming, and get get you to assess that as well. Because they were going a lot quicker than I were in 40. Yeah, yeah. so they normally remember that right hand lane on the dual carriageway. What is that Overtaking. for? Overtaking. And uh, turning. Turning which way? Right. That's it, good. So, yeah, well, let's go into the dual carriageway again. And um, obviously, we'll keep it at the same level for now, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Move off then when you're ready. Look at that, that was perfect. What was? You said move off and the car started. Do you tap the clutch? It's normally when you tap the clutch a bit. It's, it no, I, like my foot went there, but I didn't touch it. Okay. We'll find out in the video. <laughs> Break down, please. That's it. Good. That was a at good takeoff as well. At the end of the road, turn left. So, which gear, Brandon? Here. Yep. So, are you going to prevent rolling back? Can I bring up the clutch now, after this? Yeah, you can see a gap arising after these three vehicles, yeah? So get the biting point now, get it ready. A bit higher. That's it there. That's too high now. Okay. Brake, 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 Brandon, put your foot on the brake, please. Brake, clutch down, restart the car, the car's off. That's it. Let's try and do it without the handbrake, yeah? Okay, keep your foot on the brake. Now feel the biting point, please. There, that's it. But don't bring any higher than that. Now which pedal to go? That's it, good. So we're all about having that clutch at the right point, yeah? Yeah. And the lesson before last, when we worked on hills. Yeah. Anybody behind you? No. At the traffic lights, we're going to be turning left. Don't signal just yet. That's it. Keep a bit more to the left, please. That's it there. A bit more forward. That's it. Clutch down, clutch down, clutch down. Restart the car. Select gear one, please. Select gear one. Clutch down, clutch down. That's it. Turn left, please. And which gear? Which gear now? That's it. No gas for the turn. Bring that clutch up, please. That's it. Run to the dual carriages. So let's build up our speed now. More acceleration. Check your centre mirror, right mirror. Anybody overtaking? No. Yes, there is. I mean, they're on the right. Yeah. So, I'd, what I ask you, is anybody overtaking? So, obviously, when I asked, they weren't overtaking at that point, but they're about, they were about to overtake, yeah. Okay, so when I ask you, is anybody overtaking? Just see if there is anybody, there, even if they're about three, four car lengths, yeah, are they about to overtake or not? Lights are ready ahead, so what are you going to start to do now? Which mirror, Brandon? That's it. Think about which gear is going to be good around now. 
That's Q3, Brian. No, that's it. And again, check your mirrors as you move off. Let's have a bit more acceleration, please. Good. Anybody overtaking? Yeah. What colour is the car in your right? Blue. Okay, so the lights are green ahead, they could change it. Yeah? Just maintain the speed now. Okay, check your centre mirror. Is anybody close behind us? On the right. Yeah, but they're not behind us yet, like they're not directly behind us. So even if you did have to brake... It wouldn't affect. Yeah, that's it. Anybody behind you now? Anybody on your right? No. That's it. So if we needed to change lanes now, would it be safe to do so? Yeah. That's it. See, even if you don't have to change your lane, you know, if you just check your mirrors regularly and actually assess what's going on behind, mm -hmm. yeah, it's going to make it a lot easier to make that judgement. Again, these lights could change, so check your centre mirror. Yeah. Keep in a good position. You can ease off the gas slightly. That's it. Now continue. Even if they change now, it's too late to brake now. Yeah. Like, we could still brake, we could still brake, we can't now, let's go. There we go. Well, See, this is your mate. Perfect example. Yep. Obviously, as you get more experience, yeah, you'll be able to make these uh, these decisions. It's about just deciding beforehand what are you going to do if something like that happens. So yeah. last end there, I That's it. Well. Anybody behind you? No. I've Anybody? been checking every four seconds or something. Well then. So checking is one thing, assessing is another, actually taking in what's there, yeah. So which gear do you think is good for this kind of speed now? Three. O off the brake. Yeah, three. Good. Well done. Anybody behind you? No. Well done. Good. Okay, we stop the car. That's it. Let go of the key now, Brent. Get gear one. Let's, let's let gear one, please. That's it. Get your feet ready, good. Not too high with the clutch, remember. Bit more acceleration, please, Brent. That's it. Which gear? More acceleration. Good. Hold it. Excellent. So now, when it's safe to do so, yeah, we're going to move over into the right hand lane because we're going to be turning right at the traffic light. So, check your sentiment, right mirror, no signal, signal, Sorry. that's it, uh, cancel your signal and carry on. And before you change your lane, it's important to signal, yeah? Yeah. I, just, I didn't think I'd, okay. you know, because there was no one there, my right. bad. We're turning right at the traffic lights. It's a bit that's early, it. but... That's fine. Slow down a bit more. Slow down a bit more, which gear, Brandon? Where should the clutch be? Is it safe to go? Yeah. Well then. Good. See, there's no one directly behind, yeah, but you know even the vehicle that had just overtaken us? Yeah. Do you remember, like, how we've been checking our mirrors, assessing our situation behind? Yeah. They'll be doing that as well, won't they, yeah? So it's good to let everyone know what you're doing when you're changing lanes on a dual carriageway. We'll be taking the second turning on the left. This is the first one. Yeah. Just after these parked cars where the red cars come out of. Slow down more, Brent. Slow down a bit more. I think there's somebody crossing the road here now. Where should the clutch be? Brake, 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 brake. That's it, off the brake now. Zoom in. Okay. What do you say? Let's zoom in. Yeah, that was a bit fast, wasn't it? It's clear, but I'm still going to keep it slow. This speed's good for this road. Yeah, again, has its bend ahead, park vehicles on both sides of the road. Anybody overtaking you? You drive better when you talk to yourself, yeah. <laughs> I do. Park up anywhere safe on the left, please. Steer to the right, steer to the right, a bit more. It's got a bit more forward now as well, Brand. Select gear one, please. Okay, don't be forward yet, there's a vehicle coming quite fast. It's easy safe to park up here? No. 
so you check your blind spot and move forward please up to the post that's fine and can't see a signal oh, that whole that whole uh, dual carriageway up until that one stop and I thought you know what I'm going to do it I'm going to pull the um, handbrake up it's going to be nice I can sit I'm going to take my foot off the clutch this is going to chill the moment I pull my feet off both I was like it's too late, I know where the clutch is and I'm sorry, I know where the gear isn't in neutral I'm like, oh no Okay, so you, when you come up to a red light, traffic light, yeah is, is that your sign to chill? It is my sign to <laughs> re-establish myself Okay, you're like, oh, I can chill now Yeah, you can't chill <laughs> yeah, Until you get home and like, you're, you're watching Netflix or something Yeah, but like, yeah You've got to like, even waiting at lights mm -hmm. You've got to be on the ball Planning when all it's going to change. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, quickly they change it afterwards as well. Because it, it, it just stopped when we were getting that. Like a okay, cool handbrake up. It's going to be fine. Yeah. Got enough time to reestablish. That's fine. If you want to reestablish yeah, in your words, yeah, that means like I'll give you foot to rest or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which gear did you need to select? Neutral. Neutral. We need neutral. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what I, I realised when I pulled my feet. Was like, nope. Yeah. This is going to end bad. Yeah. And even when we came to, you know, when we moved off at the at the traffic lights, well, we were stopping at the traffic lights before we turned onto the door carriageway, and I asked you to just move a bit forward because there was a keep clear sign mm -hmm. by the junction, and we didn't want to block that. Yeah. And to move forward, you all you had to do is you you could have kept the clutch down because we were still rolling, but we were in second gear. Then you brought the clutch up too high, and the car stalled there. Yeah. So um, yeah. Bit of stalling. Would it have been fine if on that on that little turn inwards when I was approaching, would it have been fine to keep the clutch down because I didn't have enough time to like... On this turn that we did, when we turned left, when yeah, you said you were zooming. zooming. You know on these approaching turns, where should the clutch be? Up. Yeah. But I, so, I, was, I, 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 I was too late with it. So, you, you know when you bring the clutch, or what do you think is going to happen is the car, if you, if you select second gear, yeah. We were, we were driving at gear three speed. We slow down. You select second gear, which is good. Yeah. If you bring the clutch up, once you do that, is the car going to get quicker, or is it going to give uh, get more control? More control. Yeah. It's not going to get quicker. The problem yeah. lay in like my speed anyway. Like I was too quick before changing gear, yeah. which affected it. Yeah, but bringing the clutch up wouldn't wouldn't have made you any faster unless you're in gear three or four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you should have brought the clutch up and then used which pedal to sort your speed out. Brake. That's it. Okay. So, but again, you know, as soon as I said to you, we're turning left mm -hmm. after the parked cars, yeah? Again, you don't, need to sort it out then. Yeah, don't go in with the mind, oh, it's always going to be nice, wide and clear. Mm -hmm. Always think the worst. Think like, uh, as you approach, you said, uh, I think there's a pedestrian, there's someone crossing, imagine there's somebody crossing. Imagine there's a parked vehicle and kids there, in the actual road. Yes, yeah, so you should be thinking when you're approaching any turn, okay? With caution. How, how do you feel on the dual carriageway this time? Better. Not yeah. good. Do you think checking your mirrors and assessing? I feel as though I'm checking my mirrors a lot more. Even like, at four four seconds or so, I know it should be like eight or so, but I feel more on edge, like I want to check more often. Though. That's, that's, that's a good thing. Yeah, you know, where which, uh, anything that's going to make you check your mirrors more is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it means you're going to be aware of what's going on around you. As long as you don't lose focus ahead. Because sometimes you can, as long as long as you're not staring into the mirrors for for a long period. Because when you when that happens, I find people tend to lose focus on what's going on ahead. That's when the position starts drifting from left to right mm -hmm. or right to left. Yeah. Okay. So um, the lane change it was good this time because obviously it felt easier. Well, there was you were checking your mirrors more, but there was no one around. Yeah. But we knew that from beforehand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but even if there was a vehicle there. Yeah, at least if you if you're checking early on, you know there's a vehicle there, and you can assess either to go in front or behind. Behind, yeah. That depends on the vehicle's speed. Okay. So if the vehicle is doing the say say the vehicle is doing the same speed as you, you're both doing 40 miles an hour, yeah, and you're in front. The vehicle's about two or three car lengths behind. You've signalled, yeah. That vehicle is still at the same speed as you. Yeah, three seconds later. Do you think it's safe to move in front then? No. Why not? Because if I'm still turning... We're not turning. Remember, we're just changing lanes. Yeah, if I'm like sliding into the other lane, um, there's that, I'm assuming there's like a little drop-off in speed when, when you when you go no, across. No, there shouldn't be a drop-off of speed. No, if you both go on 40. Yeah, so... Should be fine then. Yeah, exactly. 
it should be fine. It, it, it will be a problem. If you start slowing down mm -hmm. to change a lane, then it will become a problem, won't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you said, then we will slow, slow them down. But you've signaled, the key thing that, you know what I said was, you've signaled, I said three seconds later, that guy's still doing the same speed. Yep. Yeah, most people will either back off a bit, ease off the gas, or accelerate and just overtake. Yeah, but if he's still doing the same, he's still there, it's about three car lengths behind. Then it's fine to do It's so. fine as long as you don't slow down. That's why when we change lanes, we don't need to slow down unless there's a hazard ahead. Yeah, you get that, yeah? Yes. So, we're going to go and back. applying it. Yeah. We're going to go back on the dual carriageway. Yep. Um, what parts do you want me to help you, help you with? You want me to continue with the same, same. level? Talk, still talk you through it, yeah? yeah. Okay, cool. So, although it's like good and everything, it's like... The second time we were on the dual carriageway, there were less cars, which was, you know, made it easier for me. But that first time, which is what it'll probably be like most times, that's, I'm not used to that yet. Okay. So I'll be there fully helping you again, yeah? Yeah. Move off then when you're ready. But I use, like, so really, I'd, sometimes instead of guiding, I just, the cool. stuff that I feel that you can, know the, you know the answer to, I just ask you questions on it. Yeah. Yeah. Remember to check that blind spot again just before moving, yeah. Like you used to be like that, but now you, you check you once and sometimes there's a few seconds before you Actually, move off, yeah. At the end of the road, if you could turn left, please. Okay. What do you think about our approach speed this time? Slow? <laughs> yeah. I did, yeah. Okay, we haven't affected anyone, yeah. But what's a risk in approaching too slow as well? Um, vehicles behind us. That's it, holding them up, yeah. Again, I'll come in and help, and we can analyze it a bit more if it continues to happen. Yeah. At the traffic lights, turn left. And when we uh, pulled up there, yeah, I did go for the steering, didn't I? Which gear's good here now, Brand? Which gear? Two. Yeah. Which I forgot to mention. So, why do you think I went for the steering when you were about to park up? Uh, it's too close to the curb. Yeah, you are about to mend the curb there, yeah. <laughs> do you need my help on that? No. Okay, again, we're going to continue straight ahead. Yep. Which lane are we going to select? No, right lane, no. middle lane. No, left lane, please. Check your mirrors first, check your mirrors, Bran. Yeah. Yeah, get into the left hand lane. See, we can use both of these lanes, can't we? Yeah. yeah. Which gear now? Again, you know, if you use the middle lane, yeah, which lane would you have ended up in over there? The right one. Yeah. Because we're in the left lane now, which lane will we end up in over there? The left one. That's it. But if you do use that lane, you can. You're going to end up in the right lane. Yeah, build up your speed, then what will you have to do? Can you keep driving in that lane? In yeah, the right-hand yeah. lane? No. Well, what will you have to do then? Go into the left lane. You'll have to move back to the left. But if you select the left-hand lane from the start, it cuts out all that extra work, doesn't it, yeah? Obviously, if there's traffic here, then you can use that lane, build up your speed, then move back to the left, yeah? Again, what could we use while we're waiting here, Ryan? Handbrake. Yeah, light, light's going to change now, yeah? Check your side mirrors for any cyclists. That's it. Acceleration, that's it, and which gear now? Good. And is there anybody overtaking you now? Yeah. There's somebody in that lane, and yes, they're overtaking you now. Good. Focus on your position as well, yeah. Again, he still hasn't overtaken, but the lights are red right ahead, so check your center mirror again, please. That's it, good. Away from the curb, Brand. Okay. So you look down at your gear there, yeah, when you're about to change. Now yeah, carry on. And as you're glancing down at your gear, your car was about to hit the curb there. And what would have happened if I didn't grab the steering and you hit the curb at that kind of speed? Flew. Yeah, flew. Yeah, because you're going quite fast. <laughs> yeah. So what do you mean flew? The car's going to start flying? Yeah. And it's going to bang the curb, we're going to lose control, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And if there's a pedestrian nearby? Crash into yeah. it. Yeah. A bit similar to, you like, obviously not as hazardous when you're parking up here, yeah. but same risks involved. See, this 
this is what I feel as though I stay closer okay, to the... Slow down a bit. Slow down a bit more. This That's is what it. I feel as though I stay close to the middle section, to the white line in the middle. But again, that's a risk as well. Just imagine there's yeah. a vehicle next to you, like a lorry. Yeah. You stay too close to that side, you could, you'll get too close to them. A bit more speed now, Bren. Carry on, a bit more gas, a bit more gas. That's it. And it's okay to do that. Yep. See there, you're, why do you think I asked you to use a bit more gas? What, what speed were you we doing? 34-ish. It was less than that. Okay, after these uh, lights, we'll be turning right at the next set of lights, yeah. So, centre mirror, right mirror, signal right. And it's safe to move over. That's it. It's nice and easy when there's no one around, is it? Yeah. Signal right, we're turning right at the lights. Are you going to go before that car? Yeah. No, we're not. No, we're not. Steer to the right and stop. Stop. Stop here. Stop. That's it. You don't want to go any more further forward than this, yeah? Because mm -hmm. I'll be blocking. Yeah, well, if, if you keep your screen straight, you won't block them, but you'll go past your turn. And let's go. Let's go, Ben. So, you know when we approach, yeah? And I asked you, are you going to go before that car? The oncoming vehicle? Yeah. You said, yeah. Do you think that was a safe car? Can I be honest? Yeah. You know this right turn here, yeah? Yeah. I thought it was the next one. You know that you know the other road next to it, the smaller one? Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's my fault completely. Okay, cool. But even if it was that one, would it still be safe to go in no. front of the oncoming vehicle? No. No, it wouldn't. How do you judge a gap when you're crossing the path of other vehicles? Okay, continue going. Nice and slow. Keep it at this pace. Good. And which one is to overtake the parked vehicle? Well then, again, not with too much gas here. That's yeah, it. There's a bend. And just in case that vehicle decided to pull out, yeah. I'm not going gear three because it's quite. This is fine. The speed is good for this road. Yeah. Don't need to brake. No, I'm just. Safety speed up now? Yeah. That's it, good. Okay, park vehicles ahead. So, which mirrors are we going to check? Good. Slow down a bit more. Slow down. Slow down. Off the brake now. And carry on. Good. Is that a late signal turn for them? What do you think? Did he feel like that? I think felt it, late. it felt late because I had less time to react. That's it. And that's why it's important to signal at the correct time, like you always do, don't you? Park up on the left, please. Um, let's see if we can do this without touching the curb this time. Stop. Stop. I didn't want to be too close to the... Um, Good. That black car there. But at the same time, we don't be blocking this red one yeah the driveway yeah so whenever you're parking up always think oh, i'm gonna leave my car here for a bit yeah mm -hmm. okay so yeah position wise um last time we, we pulled up i uh, to grab the steering this time it's fine yeah so tell me where did you help you out with that and why sometimes we're getting very close and most of the time it's fine though so you know last time we pulled up when I had to grab the steering. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think of the reason for that was getting too close? My reason? Yeah. Don't know. Okay. Just just happens sometimes. So Not looking at the reference point maybe. See. Yeah. So do you use your reference point every time you park up? Not all the time. Sometimes I'll use the side mirror, the left mirror. Okay, so do you think it's a good idea to be using the reference point for now? Yeah. Yeah. And even you know your normal driving reference point? Remember when we started your lessons, you had that as well. Mm -hmm. Do you think that will help you on the dual carriageways? Yeah. Yeah. Position wise, to be honest, it was fine. It was only when you looked down at your gear. Yeah. You looked down, a little glance down, and you, you yeah, your car went to the left. Yeah. Slowly yeah. started moving. Yeah. Yeah, towards the curb. So, yeah, and um, 
you know, on that deal carriageway. Mm -hmm. It's like I was obviously asking you questions as well, and that speed was, it was a bit slow. We're doing about 32 miles an hour. You want to ask you to speed up here? Yeah. Oh, quicker. Yeah. Okay. And the, you know the amber light here? Mm -hmm. You know, before the turn red? Do, do you know what that means? Slow down. It actually means stop if you can stop safely. But if you're too fast, yeah, just um, you have to back, yeah, then we, it's all it, it, it's safe to continue. But it's that planning beforehand, yeah, which we'll be doing on uh, doing again when we uh, go back on the dual carriageway, yeah. Okay. So, um, how are you feeling about dual carriageways? The fine again. That was a little quieter. I think we're in a quieter stage of the day now. Yeah. But I think to really test it would be like that first one that we did earlier. So we're gonna do like you know all your like everything that we're we're doing. Mm -hmm. Like once you feel ready, we're gonna be doing it at much busier times. We're gonna have some lessons at traffic time as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But because any subject that like even when we do roundabouts the next lesson, like this time that we do these lessons at for now is good because it's not that busy. Yeah. Yeah. But once you feel yeah I, I know what to do on them, then we'll do everything on a, a, a at a busier time in traffic. Yeah. Okay. That's going to be a tough. I can already see it. Yeah, but we're going to put you there, like to uh, do those lessons when you feel ready for it. Not going to just throw you into it straight away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's learn the topic first, get comfortable with it, then do it when it's extra busy. Yeah. So this time on the deal carriages, how would you feel if I gave you a little bit less help, just more questions all the time? Yeah, I'd be fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool then. So whenever you're ready, move off for me, Brent. I think one. Sorry, just one second. Pop into it for a second. It just popped into my head. You know that right hand that you were confused about, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So have a look. You'll see the yellow bollard, yeah? And it's got a... It has an arrow on there pointing into what, which side of the road is yours, where you put it in. Yeah? I'll keep an eye out for So it. have a look at for the yellow sign. And um, you know when we do turn right in front of oncoming traffic, what's a method that we can use to judge if it's safe to go or not? Do you remember? You, it was in the videos for you know your right turn mm -hmm. at, at the T junctions, that you're crossing the path of other vehicles. Yeah, uh, how to judge if it's safe or not. So if you can walk across. Oh, the the general like oh if if you could walk across it then you're safe to go. But if you couldn't walk across it then don't go. That's it. I'm trying to think if it was like to do the the crossroads lesson. I was got uh, a little confused. Uh, so you know you know when you're turning right yeah in general yeah because like you said you said oh yeah I'm gonna go mm -hmm. for that car but it wasn't safe to go so that's what I should stop and when you stop like uh, you, you the, we found now the reason you went too far forward because you weren't sure where you were turning yeah yeah okay right move off when you're ready I think do you need any help with that judgment turning right um at that stop maybe just so I don't get confused okay um I think the whole thing that the the dual carriageways I need to get my slow time again. I need to be able to um, slow down quick enough for those turns. And if I did slow down quick enough, yeah, that'd be better for me. Can we help you with this line down? Um, no, I should have it. Okay. At the end of the road, turn left. So remember to prevent the rolling back here this time, please. Which gear? Hold well there. Good. New road. Hold well then. What happened last lesson? We mentioned a new road. Wasn't checking enough. And what happened during that lesson, which was an example of why you should be checking up? Uh, a guy overtook us. That's it. At the traffic lights, if you could turn left, please. Don't signal yet. Why not? Too early. Why? And also... Okay. Sorry. Yeah, signal it. What, what was there? Stop here. Stop, stop, stop. What's up? 84 at the front. Yeah. I so, got confused, sorry. So this junction there on our left, mm -hmm. is it a good idea to signal before that junction? No. Yeah, what would people think we're doing? If you signal parking. before... Parking. No? There's a junction oh, there, the actual turning. road. Yeah. What, what, what would they think you're doing if you signal before that? Turning in that junction. Yeah, and if someone's waiting in that junction, what would they do? They could pull out in front of you, couldn't they? So my mind's scattered right now. <laughs> There's a lot. So remember how to build up your speed now. What's the speed limit here? Um, 40. See which gear now, Brent? Still got to change your gear at the same time. Yeah, which gear should you be in now? 
this time you did your gear change very late. Okay, ease off the gas, you're doing 40 now. So these lights, the pedestrian crossing, no one's waiting there, well, they won't change, carry on. But the lights in front? Yeah, lights in front, good. Anybody behind you? Yep. How about now? Okay, it's still being gear three. Yeah, it's fine. Could you wrap up? You're at 18, 19 miles an hour. That was fine. If you're any lower, then it would have been gear two. Yeah, I apologise about the okay. question. In my don't mind. worry, don't worry about that. You focus on your driving. It's fine. But remember, you know, you're changing gears. Remember to come off the gas. Yeah, you've been keeping your foot on the gas. Okay, the lights. What could happen to the lights? Turn. Yeah, so they could change. Yeah. You safe to stop now? If they did. No. Anybody overtaking? Yep. Then, what could that vehicle do? Pull out. I see. So, what are you going to do with the accelerator? That's it. You don't need to brake, just easing off the accelerator is good. Good. So, what's the vehicle behind you doing now? Overtaking. No. See, that was a vehicle that was about to overtake, and all of a sudden he just slowed down, didn't he? Oh, he was going to turn, wasn't it? Yeah, I think he was, then he changed his mind. Yeah. Now he's overtaking again. He's in the middle of the road. Exactly. See, he's just drifting into your lane a little bit. Can I stay in gear? No. Clutch down to change gear. That's it. Should you be trying to change your gear without putting the clutch down? No. I thought I was in gear three for a second. I can see how quick it is to turn as well, that's such a speed. That's really good. This is a good gap that you're keeping from the vehicle in front, yeah. And this is good for me to like stop in distance as well. Because at this speed stopping would be horrendous if I was close. What's happened to the lights ahead? Jeez. Anybody behind you? No. Anybody in the right hand lane? No. Good. Timing of putting the clutch down. That's a good gap from the vehicle in front. Be ready. There you are. Well then, good mirrors and good moving off. Right hand lane? Yeah. We shut that car up, didn't we? What do you think? No. Did, it, did it look safe? No. no it was a very short gap, just swerved into that right hand lane, didn't he? Yeah. You're having some really good examples today of what not to do <laughs> yeah, from other drivers. Right, we're turning right at the traffic light, yeah? So, is it safe? Yeah. Good. Cancel your signal for now. See, that was the signal to go again to the right hand lane. Keep going, keep going. We're turning right at the traffic lights. So now you can start your signal again. Again, a bit too early for gear one. No, what kind of speed do I say? You know when you're stopping, yeah? Change. At lights, uh, at lights and that. At what speed should you get gear one at? Do you remember? Three car lengths before. No, two. speed, what speed? Oh, 15. No. 10. No. Around five miles an hour, yeah. You know when you're slowing down to a stop? Because if the lights change before that, you, you may be okay in second gear. So only get gear one when you're sure you're going to be stopping, yeah. Good decision to stop, Brand. Well done. Excellent. So there. If you hadn't stopped, I would have intervened, yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw him coming, and well, then. I appreciate your efforts as well. <laughs> that sounded so sarcastic. Okay. I just knew that you were watching as well. Take the second turning on the left. This is the one that you zoomed around last time. But before slowing down, what should you have done? Focus on the turn, now, Brent. Just focus on the turn. That's a lot better. 
feel that's sort of like, you know, when I'm talking to you, sometimes it just puts you off your driving. Yeah. <laughs> the questions. When I'm coming up to like specific yeah, close, no, close things. No. Ever since the last video, um, it'll cause some people wanting to overtake. Park up anywhere safe on the left. Hold it. Use a reference point this time. Here you go. Works, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a miracle. Good. Okay. How are you feeling? Um. Good, I thought everything went quite well, especially with that crossroad thing. Um, I thought it was all good. Junk, uh, dual carriageway felt nice as well. Um, speed ups, I don't know, it just felt nice. Good, getting a bit more confident. Mm -hmm. Well then, so um, with the, you know that turn where I said this was the one that you did a bit fast last time, yeah? yeah? As soon as you heard that, you started to slow down, yeah? But before you slow down, what should you do? Mirror signal. Yeah. Why well, is it important to signal, yeah, before you start to slow down? If I slow down first, they won't know what's happening. They might That's it. touch me. Good. Again, with faults like that, I know what you, like, you've got the knowledge, and you, and I know it's not like a mistake that keeps happening. Yeah. Yeah? It's uh, like with the stopping as well. Mm -hmm. So, like, but if something keeps happening, then we do need to, when we sort that out, yeah, I will, I need to intervene and help you out with it, but I'm sure you'd be okay with that. It's like with the, um, same thing on the dual carriageway where I'm going right I slow down a little bit before turning uh, before signalling which again was bad that's it I recognise that there yeah. see the best thing about this is you knowing that if when you are doing something wrong that you shouldn't have done it mm -hmm. you're yeah, having the knowledge there that's that's a key part for me yeah uh, because every, it will all come together as you keep practising but it's having the correct knowledge there which you're doing yeah and obviously the Ultimate driving course is helping as well. <laughs> okay, right, so now, how do you feel about just driving on? Because we're not really going to change the route much, yeah? Obviously, I'll tell you when we're going to turn and that. Yeah. How do you feel about doing it yourself? And obviously, I'm still here. Quite good, to, to be honest. Yeah, you yeah, it yourself. Yeah, good. And then, obviously, I'll come in if there's any risk, any danger. I'll yep. come in, yeah? Okay. So, any questions before we move off? No. Cool. We off then when you're ready, please. Okay. So maybe this is something that really is a third time that's happened. Yeah, there. pressing it. I'm not pushing it down. That's it. All, all the way. And uh, sorry, we're turning left at the end of the road. This isn't as slow as last time. Good, which gear though? Well then, it's a good approach. Lights if you could turn left, please. Then. Well done, Ran. That was really good on the clutch and good observations. Straight ahead, left lane. Well then, is there anybody on your left behind you? Yeah. Well then. Would 
it have been fine to have um, signalled left then, just in case? You did? Yeah, that was fine. But as long as you don't keep it on. But you know, as the road gets wider, you should, your position should always be to the left anyway. You shouldn't, don't drift too much to that side, so you have to move back to the left, yeah. Mm -hmm. This side mirror as well, yeah. What are we looking out for? Cyclists, we said. Right. Build up speed. situation because we are going slow would it be fine to stay in gear four or would you prefer in gear three so you know with the gears yeah yeah remember the speeds yeah so if you're doing around 30 miles an hour is gear four okay yeah that's it yeah if you're a little under yeah if if you're a couple of miles under yeah a couple of miles an hour under it's absolutely fine but you know if the gear is too high you re you'll really feel the vehicle struggling yeah yeah to become speed. Like struggling that's there. it I'm gonna s not slow, I'm just gonna speed up a little bit. Lights yeah. could change to be ready. It's about to question you on that. <laughs> Overtaking. That, that worried me, I thought that was the curb. Uh, it was uh, so a little pothole. So, what would you suggest in terms of potholes? Avoid them or just go over them? Obviously, if it's safe to avoid them, Do meaning you ch you check your mirror, it's all safe, then avoid them. If not, um, that's that's cool as well, yeah. Okay, rather you stay in your lane and be safe, then try to look to avoid potholes. This time, let's continue straight ahead, please. I've noticed I haven't been checking my mirrors as often, but the lights could change. So these markings now, yeah, this is where we shouldn't be driving on, yeah. yeah. So avoid them. Ahead, the look at the road marks, and the left lane is going to be turning left only. So which lane are you going to use? Middle one. That's it. Good. So again, look at the, the arrows on the floor. We can use both these lanes to continue straight ahead. Yeah. Why is this lane going to benefit you? The middle one. Yeah. Going straight over. Yeah, because if he. We can use that one as well, the one on the right. We use the right. Yeah, that one's going to be turning. This one's just strictly forward. It's not going to be turning. Yeah, it, the ball's going straight ahead. You can't turn from here. Yeah. I mean, like the right's usually for like overtaking and like turning in That's general. It. Good. That's what I mean. See, if you use that lane, you'll end up in which lane ahead? The right one. Yep. And you've told me the reasons, like what the right-hand lane is used for. Yeah. But because we, because we use the left lane at the two, we end up in the left. Glances, quick regular glances, yeah? Okay, main focus ahead on your positioning. At the traffic lights, yeah, we'll be turning right. So there's a pedestrian crossing, so it's the lights that are red, we'll be turning right up. See how we slow down there? Yeah. Build up your speed a bit, please. That's it. Well, I think my signal was a bit too early as well. My signal's okay for the lane change, yeah? Remember there's, you know when there's, when you're turning right, yeah, there's there's two um, two parts to it. One's changing, getting into the right-hand lane, yeah, and the other part is signaling for your turn. So what could you use here to prevent rolling back? The handbrake. Yeah. So if you haven't used it, so let's see if you can do without it. See what happened there? Brake, brake, brake. Restart the car. Oh, okay, good. 
Clutch them, sorry. <laughs> okay, get the pointing point. Uh, you gotta hold it there now. Okay, turn the, turn the wiper back. There, sorry. You know that part, the end part. Okay, push it, that's it. And push the wipe lever down as well. <laughs> Jeez, that, you tried to, you, you, stole, you tried to restart the car by turning the wiper, yeah? Leave me alone. <laughs> I can already imagine the title now. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Okay, I think it's a good idea. We're using the handbrake now, yeah? yeah. Let's, let's get your feet ready. Come on, get the gear ready. Yeah, we don't want to be stalling again. Luckily, there's no one behind us, so we didn't hold up anyone. Yeah, thank God. Remember to put the handbrake fully down this time as well. Get the biting point for me, please. That's it. You won't roll back now. Yeah, don't rush. I'm just a little. I think I need a little bit more practice of like biting point from the brake position. Yeah. Again, well, that again was from hill starts. If you had used the handbrake, it would have helped you out. Yeah. Yeah. I should be more professional. I shouldn't be laughing at it, but that was the kind of first time that's happened. <laughs> you just turn the wiper to restart the car. Okay. Well then, you put the handbrake fully down this time. That green arrow means you can go. Sorry. Carry on. And no one turns on this. That's it. Do that. So you know, you know, if there's a green arrow pointing into the direction that you uh, you want to go. Yeah, those are filter lights. It's the first time you've uh, come across them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there's a green arrow pointing to the right, and you're turning right. Yeah. That means you can continue. That means, you know, the oncoming vehicle it won't come across. Yeah, their, their lights are still red. So I was going to ask then, because that was like a crossroad situation, yeah, but yeah. they weren't going. Should have talked about that earlier, but I was too. Con too uh, sorry, turn right here, please. Park up on the left, please. Okay, what do you think about your parking position? I'm not too far. Yes, yeah, slightly far, yeah. Okay. Um, ideally, you want to be just a touch closer, just a tad closer, yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you use your reference point this time? Yeah. But I was like, even when I was, even when I did use it, I was like, can I, can I not? But I felt so if I did, I would have got a little bit too close. So I thought, stop. Okay, cool. That's something definitely that we need to like touch uh, over again. Yeah, uh, I think just reminding you now every time mm -hmm. um, to use. Uh, sorry, switch the. You know the the end part of the wiper, the one that you twisted forward. That's it. Was yeah. it still on? Yeah. Okay, it was because you twisted it all the way to start the car. <laughs> yeah, it was on the um, lower speed now. Yeah, <laughs> switch off the engine for me. You're gonna put this on TikTok. Let's be in the lesson first. Yeah, <laughs> okay, then we can think about what we're gonna put these videos after. Yeah, right then. So, um, yeah, with this position, we're slowly, yeah, we're not that bad that we're blocking the whole road and that. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, you understand the dangers of. Yeah, we're. Out. Luckily, we're not too close to that black car, but in any other circumstance, if there was a car on the right side of me, and we, this would make it extra, extra narrow. Yeah. Okay. This right turn, like the way you approach that, your position was good. Yeah. Not too far over the middle. That's it. Good. And again, the lane change at the dual carriageway. See, there was no one around here. Mm -hmm. You know, we changed the lane. And then what you started to do was... Slow as you change, Yeah. Slow down. But again, there's no one behind us. We didn't re didn't really affect anyone. Mm -hmm. But remember, we talked about if there's a vehicle next to us, yeah, keep no, the same not next speed. to us. If he's if he's if he's a few car lengths behind us, keep the same speed. Yeah, keep the same speed. Because if I am going across, then they'll collide. That's yeah. it. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, when you put in those situations, it's obviously you'll be able to practice it more. Then, yeah, I, I think. think I need to practice more, more on dual carriageways, specifically coming up to that the right turnings, because I've noticed either. I'm slowing down too slow or I'm slowing down too early and it's like getting that nice sweet spot. Yeah, again that's going to come with practice, yeah. but it's not just turning right at lights because now we can like move on, because you've we've touched on dual carriageways, when I say touched on, yeah, we, we've had one lesson on them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, again with any of our other topics, just doing one lesson on something, does that make you perfect at that topic? No. No, it's about getting that knowledge and understanding, that was the aim of our lesson today, yeah. Do you think you've gained knowledge and understanding of how to deal with dual carriageways? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But doing them perfectly was, not our, yeah, was not our aim, that's going to just 
like I said, you remember how last thing he said, oh, I think everything's going together. Mm -hmm. That's going to happen. Yeah, as we keep practicing on them. But we'll we'll be changing lanes when we approach roundabouts and that now. We could we can move on to roundabouts. Yeah. Yeah. Should we do that next lesson? Yeah. Yeah. We will, obviously we're going to continue with dual carriageways, but big roundabouts. Bigger roundabouts. Yeah. Also, so how how are you going to get the gain the knowledge on roundabouts now? What you're going to do? Ultimate driving course. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Roundabouts is a se uh, section with quite a few videos on there. Yeah. yeah just watch the first. What's the first um, three? Yeah. Up to. Um, going straight ahead and turning left. Yeah. Yeah. Not the one on um, right turns at the moment because that's all. That's all. Do um, uh, next lesson. Going straight ahead. And will we doing? Will, will we be doing any slip roads? Uh, not next lesson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But again, you you you, uh, you never know. Just uh, again, the the video on slip roads isn't that. It's not a long it's video. Not long yeah. At all. It's so just uh, when you feel confident enough, yeah. Okay. We, we we can move on to that, but let's um, like I said, everything that that you need to that needs to be covered in your own, we will cover it. Yep. Slip roads, everything. Even at one point, we'll probably go on motorways as well, even though you don't need that for your driving test. But it'll make you more, more of a confident driver. Yeah. But any questions? Anything you didn't understand? Um. No, it's mainly just like application and re like remembering properly. Yeah. Again, like you've seen with your previous stuff. Yeah. Like you see how. Uh, difficult all the turns moving or stopping was before mm -hmm. yeah, even though it's still not perfect but how does it feel now when you when you do drive and change gears and move off stop? smoother exactly gaining speed's not as hard as it used to be it's now I'm using quite a lot of speed yeah obviously it's your carriage race that would yeah. help you with that today yeah but yeah Brand like always thanks a lot for doing the lesson yeah Good. and um, guys um, thank you again for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video see ya